A new film about a pioneering zoologist who dedicated her life to saving the endangered gorillas of Africa has run into criticism from the very people who might have been expected to welcome it. The film, Gorillas in the Mist, has just been released in America. It follows the 20-year battle of the zoologist Diane Fossey to save the gorillas of Rwanda until her violent death in 1985. It hasn't yet been released in this country, but the present-day director of the research project, which Diane Fossey set up, has read the film's script and says he's not happy with what he's seen. The murder of Diane Fossey remains a mystery. Why she was killed and who killed her, nobody is really sure. It was probably this aura of mystery which prompted Universal Pictures and Warner Brothers to make the film Gorillas in the Mist. Certainly it has all the elements of adventure, romance and suspense. <coughs> But the present director of the Karisoki Research Center, Dr. Alan Goodall, has criticized the film, saying it glamorizes life at the camp. While the film is set to make millions of dollars at the box office, Dr. Goodall says his 26 members of staff don't have enough money to buy essential clothes. The huts are in urgent need of repair, sleeping conditions are cramped, and funds, he says, are desperately short to carry out important research and anti-poaching work. No one can know what Diane Fossey would have thought of the film, but as long as her gorillas are protected from poachers and safe from extinction, she would probably have been happy. Well, joining me now from our Glasgow studio is the current director of the Karasoki Research Centre, Dr. Alan Goodall, who's visiting Britain at the moment. Good morning, Dr. Goodall. Good morning. Um, is your objection to this film that it is inaccurate or that the proceeds of the film aren't being correctly applied in your judgment? Well, let me first correct um, a misquote which appeared in the Independent the other day, which attributed me as to saying that this was an appalling film. As you said, I've only read the script, so um, I couldn't possibly... Um, comment on the fact that this was an appalling film. So what's your objection? Uh, my, my objection, well, if I have three concerns. The first is that the very centre um, that was the focus of all of this attention may miss out financially be because of this. Um, they've, they've lost in other ways. Um, fortunately, Universal Studios have given a premiere in, in the States, and this has helped tremendously. And if we could persuade Warner Brothers to do the same in this country, and this would ensure that the very focus of all of this um, received some financial benefit f um, from this. And your second objection? My second objection is that it, it is a simplistic uh, view of very complex environmental problems. It focuses too much just on the issue of gorillas and not on the wider ecological problems that, that uh, one sees here. But you know, all sorts of people who see fictional representations of things they know a great deal about always object to them. They're never 100% right, or very rarely. Well, that's true, yes. But, you know, we're concerned here not just over the gorillas, but the, the problems of the tropical rainforest. And the Rwandan government are aware of this, and they need help to um, manage their, their forests. They're aware that these forests play an important part in in the local rainfall, in preventing erosion. And, and this help should be given to them in relation to this wider ecological management rather than in a confrontation over, over gorillas. The film at least raises the profile of, of your work, doesn't it? I mean, would you advise people to go and see it or not? Oh, yes, of course I would. Um, and if, yes, if it raises awareness over both the particular problems in gorillas and then gets people to think about the wider issues of conservation management. We're hearing a lot now about the problems of right. deforestation. Then, um, yes, th then obviously this will do a great deal of good. Dr. Goodall, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much indeed.